Now, Abbey, Alliance in Leicester and Bradford and Bingley, all familiar names on the high street, but they're all to disappear. The Spanish banking giant Santander, which owns all three companies, has decided to rebrand them with the name of the parent company. The change will affect 1,300 branches over the next 18 months. Jonathan Gabay is the founder of Brand Forensics and has advised some of the UK's top companies on branding. What do you think of this? It's certainly a bold move, isn't it? It's certainly a bold move. Um, I think it's uh, reflective and indicative of um, a world where people are looking for global security, um, where times local security in the financial world hasn't been coming, uh, hadn't been uh, forthcoming. However, that said, I think it's a, it's, it's maybe slightly early to make such a move uh, because people actually trust their local, you know, well-known branches of Abbey or Bradford and Bingley and so on and so forth. And all of a sudden, it's become some sort of a global banded, you know, mass, if you wish. And I think that's going to, um, it's certainly going to annoy some people, to say the least. I wonder if it will, but only in the short term. I wonder if there is a difference, as you hinted at there, between um, ordinary brands, chocolate bars or cars and banks. I mean, because there is this whole issue of trust. That's really what they're based on. Yes, you're absolutely right. Um, this is uh, really what they call a family brand uh, issue. So the family brand will be Santander, and then you've got all the, if you wish, the kids in the family who are going to be all the, 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 the local divisions and stuff like that, which are all part of the Santander group. So why that, what, it, what does that mean? It means that it's coming from a, an organization with a fine reputation, and that's why you would come and bank with us. But what they're doing is that they're going in f- even further, and they're saying, well, just drop. The, the other names and just it's just one big name it's globalization um norwich union famously are doing this with aviva so they're dropping norwich union and it's all becoming one big global brand and are there examples of i mean i can think of consignia which was a name which was thought up for some parts of, of what the post office did and then it was uh, promptly dropped i mean s- some of these uh, name changes just don't work you're absolutely right. Over the years, there's been uh, lots in the, one of the most famous ones you guys rightly said was Consignia. But this is slightly different than Consignia because in this case, Santander, what they've done is that they've already laid down the foundations. And so for the last couple of years, with these various uh, building societies and so on and so forth, they've been actually saying it's named the building society, the brand, which is part of the Santander group. And so they've obviously decided that the next stage now is to say, well, rather than saying it's part of the Santander group, whether it be Alliance and Leicester or Bradford and Bingley or indeed Abbey, um, to actually just say Santander group. As I say, in the short term, I think this is going to aggravate uh, people because they're going to think yet another huge organization taking over uh, and where where did individuality go um, but in the midterm I believe people will get kind of used to it and they will actually maybe even start saying well I'd rather be part of something huge than be part of something tiny when it comes to finance we're talking about money here we're talking about trust and we're talking about security okay thanks very much for joining us Jonathan Gabay of brand forensics